Hey, what's going on guys? This is Kedar here. And check this out. We got the latest stimulus check update and these six states are sending out stimulus payment this month. And this one is happening due to various initiatives by each of the states. We have got a full breakdown of which states are sending out the stimulus payments who is qualified for this latest stimulus checks. Which of the six states are sending out the stimulus check payments this month? Well guys, we have got lots of updates on stimulus check update stimulus package that you are looking for and we will cover all the details on the eligibility who is eligible for this payment qualification criteria and due to which initiatives you are receiving this payments we have got a full breakdown so before we start this video make sure to smash that like button below hit that like guys and subscribe to our channel for latest stimulus updates like this turn on that bell notification so you will never miss our latest videos and with that being said let's get right into it now before we start this video just to be clear federal government has has not indicated any plans for a fourth stimulus check that is fourth round of stimulus check but still several US states are sending out stimulus money to their residents this month under various initiatives and the three federal stimulus checks provided all the qualifying Americans with the payments of $1,200, $600, $1,400 across 2020 and 2021 to deal with the financial impact of COVID-19 pandemic also to tackle things like cost of food gas and other basic necessities products and services so starting with the first state we have got the update from Alaska and well the budget signed by governor Mike Dunleavy in the June included a $3,200 payment and the stimulus payment including a one-time $650 energy relief payments and a $2,550 permanent fund dividend and that will be sent out to all the Alaska residents, all the eligible people as per the reports. Also, Dune Levy announced in July that the payments would begin arriving in the bank accounts on to the September 20th. So according to the Alaska Public Media, for those people who submitted a paper applications or asked for a paper checks, the payments are expected to be sent out just about two weeks later. So all the Alaska residents keep eye on September 20th for your stimulus payments. Speaking of the Colorado, well Colorado Governor Jared Polis signed into a law in this May that would provide a $750 tax rebate for individual filers while $1,500 rebate for joint filers. And well, according to the Colorado Department of Revenue, those people who have filed their state income tax returns by June 30, they will receive their checks on September 30. So all the Colorado residents keep eye on September 30 for your stimulus payments. And for the extended filers who will meet the October 17 deadline, this refunds will come in by January 31st, 2023. So that's about the Colorado stimulus update. And while speaking of the Hawaii, well, Hawaii governor signed a bill in June that would issue a one-time tax refunds to certain people qualifying for these benefits. And under the Act 115, these payments of either $300 or $100 per person will be sent out based on the factors like income level, filing status. So, for example, single filers whose federal adjusted gross income is less than $100,000 annually, well, they can able to receive a $300 rebate while those people who make more than $100,000 per year, well, they will receive a $100 tax rebate. A full breakdown of how much the money state residents can expect is totally based on their income, also the filing status and some of the other details which is available onto the Act 115 information page. So if you head over to the Hawaii Department of Taxation, you can check out the details. By the way, these payments will begin issuing in the first week of this September. And here you can see the Act 115 refund. Who qualifies for the Act 115 refund? What you need to do to receive this refund? How much you'll get as a refund? So for the single heads of household married, you can see how much refund you'll get as an exemption as per your federal adjusted gross income. So you can take a look at it, pause the video and take a look at this data. We also got the exact dates with the direct deposit deposit refund is going on September 2022 up to 10 weeks after filing. Also the paper check refunds are going on September to October 
2022 up to 12 weeks after filing. So that's all the details on Act 115. You can check out all the details if you want. So all the Hawaii residents keep eye on to the post week of the September for your payments. And while speaking of the next state, well the state of Virginia is also sending out a one-time tax rebate to some of the qualifying residents. And well according to the Virginia Department of Taxation, those people who had a tax liability last year will receive these payments which are going up to $250 if they are filing individually while this payment go up to $500 if they have filed jointly. And these payments are expected to start going out in the late September but it is possible that some may not receive these checks until the following month. And the Virginia Department of Taxation said that those people who are eligible and filed their application by July 1st, their tax rebate will be sent out by October 17th. That means Virginia residents should receive these payments by October 31st as per the Virginia Department of Taxation. There it is guys. From the October 17th to October 31st, keep eye on to the Virginia stimulus payments. Speaking of the next state, Illinois is providing one-time income property tax. Illinois is providing one-time income and property tax rebates to the residents that will begin and being issued by the week of the September 12th. And for the income tax tax rebates, single filer will receive $50 rebate while a married couple filing jointly will receive $100 according to the Illinois Department of Revenue. Those with dependents can receive rebates up to $300 and with $100 provided per dependent and they can claim up to 3 maximum dependents. Only those with adjusted gross income under $400,000 for joint filers and less than $200,000 for single filers are eligible for these rebates. And and while these refunds will begin issuing by the week of the September 12th as stated by Illinois Department of Revenue website. They also specified that it will take several months to be issued the stimulus checks. So there it is. All the Illinois residents keep eye on September 12th and ongoing months ahead for the stimulus payments. Speaking of the next state, we have got Minnesota. Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz signed in a law in late April that would allow Minnesota residents who work on the frontline workers during the COVID-19 pandemic and these people need to meet certain criteria to apply for the bonus pay and the frontline workers pay application was open through the July 22 while the state has yet to announce how much each accepted applicant will receive and it already set aside a 500 million dollar and these payment will be divided equally between each member of the pool. If you are eligible for this one, you should expect to receive your payment during the September or October and Minnesota estimated about 667,000 state residents would qualify for this one which would give about $750 to each accepted applicants. But nearly 1.2 million Minnesota residents ended up applying for these checks, meaning that the payout could be smaller depending on how much applicants are totally approved. So these six states are sending out stimulus check payments to their residents in this September month. That's all about the latest stimulus check update. I hope you found this video very helpful. So make sure to hit that like, smash that like button, make sure to subscribe to our channel, turn on that bell notification to stay updated for latest stimulus update. And with that being said, this is Kedar from How To Guys signing out.